after riding it, I couldn't believe it. I'm Levi Lavelli, and welcome to my dream. I believe you can have anything in life if you just want it bad enough. Now grab your helmet and let's get to living. Here we are, we're in Lutzen, Minnesota, and I get to ride this guy right here. The exciting part about that is this is a 2021 VR1 with the new 650 engine. So I'm really excited to try it out. This will be the first ride on it. So I get to see if it actually stacks up the way they were talking. They were talking the new 650, big power. They were talking about the new 7S display, the roomier ergonomics, the better fit and finish. We're gonna put all that to the test right now. We're gonna try this out. And so we're gonna head out on the trail, take a rip on it, and I'm just gonna tell you what, what I find, what I feel, and what this thing says to me. So, pretty excited. Let's go get this on. All right, first impression of the new Matrix VR1 650. I mean, absolutely blown away. Like I've been riding snowmobiles for most of my life, right? And I remember going to the dealer show here a couple weeks ago, Polaris dealer show and talking to some of the guys and they just said, this is the best trail sled you'll ever ride. And you know, that's a pretty bold statement. And after riding it, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how stable the thing was in the corners, you know, and then it, it has the new 650 Patriot engine in it. And I couldn't believe that it was a 650. I mean, it pulls so hard. Like I would be, I would be curious to see how it runs against an 800 because I mean, it literally, uh, it just pulls low end, mid range. I mean, like one of the things that I really like doing on the trails, like if I see a little roll or something and I know what's on the other side or I can see the other side, I love just grabbing a handful and pulling a wheelie over it. And, you know, on the 600, I mean, you could do it, but usually not that well. But the 850, oh man, you could just rip these huge wheelies off it. And the 650 had those same characteristics, like that power that just keeps pulling. And no matter low end or mid range, I mean, that thing was just, it was so much fun. So much fun coming out of the turns, just pulling, you know, pulling those straights. And, and you know, for me, like I said, I like wheeling. So the thing had that low end grunt to kind of do those wheelies off those little rolls and things like that. The platform is so nice because the, the thing that I really noticed is being shorter, you know, I've always had to lean really like really hard or really far the matrix with the new narrower front end here the narrower dash um, seat area and having like they have this like sloped out area on the side like where your knees go and it just allows your knees to like naturally go right around the edge of the panel where you know even in comparison to the axis which i thought the axis was great but once you go back to back on them you really notice like, holy cow, like I have to like go out and around the side panel on the axis with the new matrix, you just kind of lean and your knee just naturally rolls off to the side. So I really liked how that, uh, or how that felt. 
and it really allowed me to like it just seemed like I was I was just using less energy to get myself into corner and position and then the thing in the corners that was phenomenal was the thing is so stable it just feels it feels so planted in the turns you really don't notice the ski lift I mean it doesn't ski lift nearly as often and I mean to get it to ski lift you almost have to hit like a little bump or something to kind of cause it to go up but otherwise the thing is so stable in the turns it really is confidence inspiring going into the turn and just knowing that you know it's it's not going to tip up and and that's even with me not doing a full-on racing lean you know it just feels that much stabler so it it really left me like going hey I'm not using near as much energy and I'm much comfortable riding this. And that's like, that's what really kind of sold me on, on the matrix platform. And, you know, some of the new features they have, you know, they got new brakes on it. Love the brakes. I loved the new brake lever, you know, simple has like a little, a little nub on the end that, you know, I'm a one finger breaker. So I just hook my finger on there and I've always got it out there. And it's, it has such little resistance. It was so easy to pull. You know, you could really drag the brake. Like sometimes what I'll do, like coming into a turn, is I'll drag the brake slowly just so it kind of sets the front end. And I could really feel that, like I had control of my braking with, uh, with the new brakes. So that was a big, big thing that I liked. The narrower front end, the kind of angled out um, side panels. And then the 7S display is like, I mean, it's like having an iPad in front of you, but it's not like blocking you. It's just like, it's there and you're like, you know, when you want to look down, see what you're doing, your gauges, what speed you're going, whatever it may be, super easy to do that. But with the left hand control, like riding, I just really noticed like, holy cow, I just scroll through, I find the map and because the screen's so big, you can actually see the map and you can go, oh yeah, okay, I got to turn up here and you can kind of pinpoint where those turns are. So that was the thing that I really um, I really enjoyed as well was that big screen. And, but oh, man, I just, I'm like blown away how good this sled is. When they came out with the Axis and riding the different models, you know, from the, the XC137 to the Indy XCR to all these different Axis um, sleds, I just thought these things are amazing. And to, to jump on this for the first time you know, without going back to back, it, maybe I'm, maybe I'm off, but I swear to you, this thing is like, it's so stable in the corners and it just is so smooth out there. I, I don't know. I'm like, I'm anxious to get out and do back to back to see how they, how it stacks up against, like I said, that XCR, Indy XCR, the, the 137 XC and, and switchback XCR. I'm anxious to see, you know, how it, how it, stacks up against some of those ones because they've been some of my favorites in these different trail riding conditions so i think that's what we're gonna have to do next <laughs> to the back to backs vr1 matrix absolutely loving it you know like i said i gotta do a test back to back to see because right now i'm like i i'm baffled at how good this works and i gotta like see is it really that good we're going to find out how it stacks up. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, you know, I was able to put a I was able to put a good day of riding in and, you know, really do some different terrains, different uh, bumps and whoops and stuff like that. So if you got any questions, put them in the comments below and overall, I'm just floored by this sled. So definitely check it out. It's a good one. So thank you guys very much. We'll talk to you next time. Dude, once we get up there, you can take for a rip. I just, I'm just not laying into it because it, it feels like it's running too good. <laughs> good. Lots of throttle jacking. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that oil flowing. Yeah.